Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today we are going to add our second page to the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia by examining the Barabara Bara no Mi. The Barabara Bara no Mi is a paramecia type fruit which essentially allows its user to split their body up into various parts and control each portion individually. It was eaten, accidentally I might add, by Buggy the Clown who was originally planning to sell the fruit as a rookie pirate. It was also the second devil fruit to make a pre-consumption appearance in the series. This fruit takes its name from the Japanese onomatopoeia for a knife hitting a board, which is Bara. Bara Bara is also the term for splitting something up, not to be confused with the sound a knife makes when slicing through something, which is super, which lends its name to a another fruit that we'll get to somewhat down the line. It should also be noted that in both the four kids and Funimation English dubs, the Bara Bara no Mi is referred to as the Chop Chop Fruit, but I'm going to stick to the Japanese because, well, I can. So conceptually, we have another fairly simple fruit here with a crap ton of creative potential. However, the most immediate benefit given to a user of the Bara Bara no Mi is automatic immunity to any kind of sharp attacks. Well, immunity is probably the wrong word because people are still entirely capable of cutting you with a sword or a knife or whatever, but they won't actually deal any damage. The user's body will simply split at the point where the cut was made, and should the user wish, they could immediately reform themselves or use the split as a chance to enact some slightly more advanced tactics, particularly against an opponent who was initially unaware of the power. And just on that note, we should take a moment to focus on the fact that the fruit user is able to control their body parts while separated. This may not sound so great at first, I mean who really cares whether or not you're able to control a part of a hand flopping on the ground, but the Bara Bara no Mi actually has an incidental second ability which is limited levitation. Essentially the fruit allows its user to control and levitate their body parts within a certain spherical range. Should the parts extend outside of this range, then the user loses all control of that particular body part. The exact range of this ability is a 200 bara bara diameter, another fake unit of measurement invented by Oda to avoid questions. It should also be noted that a user of the bara bara no Mi is incapable of levitating their feet, which are subject to the regular laws of gravity at all times. So with that in mind, what the bara bara no Mi has to offer a user is essentially endless possibilities in regards to tactical maneuverability. These powers can be used quite bluntly. For example, Buggy has an attack named bara bara ho, where he fires a hand at an enemy, which can be particularly effective if he's holding some sort of weapon. Pretty basic, but even this, the most simple of attacks can be taken a step further. For example, if an opponent manages to catch the user's hand, then you could split off that captured portion of the hand and continue the attack. Buggy has even employed a purposeful strategy of making sure that he fires a portion of his forearm with his hand in order to bait his opponent into grabbing the forearm portion. And of course, this kind of attack can be made with any limb, or you know what, it doesn't have to be a limb, and it doesn't even have to be fired head on. You could strategically plant portions of your body around the combat zone, ready to spring various traps on opponents. Although this comes with a key disadvantage, which is rather simply that when you commit a body part to a trap like that, you lose it for use until your trap is activated, meaning that you could be fighting at a pretty severe disadvantage against a fully capable opponent. Furthermore, it may be difficult to spring these traps on your adversaries, as it becomes pretty immediately obvious that you are missing a body part. So most competent opponents, to some degree, will be prepared for a sneak attack. So alternatively, we can pursue a different route. Rather than trying to hide body parts, you could divide yourself into as many as possible in order to use them as a distraction like Buggy does with his Barabara Bara Festival technique. To a non-Haki user, this could be quite visually overwhelming and allow the user of the Barabara Bara no Mi to strike at a wide array of openings. Really, the possibility in regards to the tactical use of this fruit are limitless, and in the hands of somebody like a chess grandmaster, it would be absolutely deadly. Sadly, that's not quite what we have with Buggy. While I would certainly never say that Buggy fails to use the Barabara Bara no Mi creatively, I would describe it as a more superficial form of creativity. Buggy uses this fruit as you'd expect an entertainer would, to craft illusions and absurdities that have incredible entertainment value, but limited effectiveness in most other aspects of life. And I maintain that if given to the right mind, this fruit would be absurdly powerful. Some other miscellaneous things to consider when becoming a splitting human. This fruit holds another key advantage in regards to levitation, being that the effect seems to extend to any items being held by the user at the time. This allows the user to carry pretty much whatever they want, be it a knife, a giant axe, or an incredibly large fishman, whilst engaging in levitation. There there is no defined limit to how many different parts of the body the Barabara Bara no Mi allows you to split into. However, and this is pure speculation, I imagine that it is entirely dependent on the mental ability of the user to keep track of how many portions they have control over at any given point. Furthermore, there is no defined limit to how small a part a user can split off their body. For example, the world's greatest swordsman, Dracul Mihawk, chopped Bucky into some incredibly fine slices, which ended up being a perfectly acceptable use of the fruit. So perhaps an extremely proficient user of the Barabara Bara no Mi could go so far as to split 
themselves into atoms. Whatever the case, there is a lot of untapped potential to be explored in this area. And another key disadvantage with splitting up your body is that you make those parts significantly vulnerable to attack or capture, which was displayed pretty perfectly when a divided buggy was kicked in the balls by Luffy. With all of that said, the Barra Barra no Mi is a devil fruit that provides the user with a primarily tactical benefit. Being able to split your body up into multiple units can be seen as akin to controlling a small army, placing much more emphasis on forward planning and maneuvering yourself into an advantageous position than your more average devil fruit abilities allow. It is best suited to a truly gifted mind to pursue its full capabilities, however it would be instantaneously beneficial to anybody who consumed it. So yeah, highly recommend it if you just so happen to stumble upon it. And with that, we are going to commit the Barra Barra no Mi to the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia. Next week, we will be examining the first Logia type Devil Fruit introduced in the series, the Moku Moku no Mi. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to like, favorite, or subscribe. And if you are in any way keen on supporting this independent channel, then please do check out my Patreon, Discord server, or Twitter, the links to which are in the handy dandy description below. And finally, please do comment with your thoughts on the Barra Barra no Mi. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.